Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yisrael. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. And more specifically, we are discussing the fact that the first direct commandment that Yahweh ever gave to man was given to Adam in the Garden of Eden, which was to dress it. We told you that the word dress in Hebrew is a bod, spelled from right to left, ayin, bait, dalit, and it means worshiper. Worshiper is equivalent to celebrant, and celebrant describes a person who celebrates. By definition, celebrate means to observe a day or commemorate an event with ceremonies. So worshiper, as it relates to dress, means that Yahweh commanded Adam to cause the whole world to obey, comply with, or conform to, as law, the observance or celebration of the seventh day, as the Sabbath of Yahweh, to honor the memory of Yahweh for all his work, which he, Yahweh, created and made. Last week, we looked at yet another meaning of the word Sabbath in Hebrew. Using the New Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible, we documented that Sabbath means keep, and the word keep is synonymous to observe. Observe was defined as to conform one's action or practice to as a law. We affirmed that the word conform means to bring into harmony or agreement to, to be obedient. We read Exodus chapter 31 verse 16 and showed you that Adam's descendants, the children of Israel, are to keep and observe the Sabbath of Yahweh throughout our generations for a perpetual covenant. The words perpetual and covenant were defined. We concluded from these definitions that when Yahweh commanded Adam to dress the Garden of Eden, he was commanding Adam to bring all his actions into harmony or agreement with the law by practicing and keeping the Sabbath of Yahweh. Moreover, Yahweh was commanding Adam to make known to his descendants, Israel, and all people of the earth who joined themselves to Yahweh, to serve him, to love his name, and to take hold of his written agreement or promise, that keeping the Sabbath of Yahweh is an everlasting, eternal, infinite, and never-ending agreement throughout our generations. And even more, Yahweh was commanding Adam to make known to his descendants, Israel, and all people of the earth who joined themselves to Yahweh, that if they keep the Sabbath of Yahweh, then Yahweh himself would bring all of us to his holy mountain and make us joyful in his house of prayer. Today, let us examine why it is important for us to keep the Sabbath of Yahweh throughout our generations. Let's begin by opening our Bibles to Exodus chapter 31, verse 13, which reads, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yahweh that doth sanctify you. For it is a sign between me, Yahweh, and you, the children of Israel, throughout our generations. We see here that keeping the Sabbath is very important to Yahweh, so much so that it is a personal, direct sign between God, Yahweh himself, and you. This is so powerful. You just read it for yourself. Little you and I, can send a sign directly to God, Yahweh, himself, 
just by keeping his Sabbath. Let's learn something about the word sign. On the authority of the Random House College Dictionary Revised Edition, copyright 1988, on page 1223, sign means to communicate by means of a sign. Sign is synonymous to token, and token is equivalent to indication, manifestation, testimony, proof, or expression. The observance or celebration of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh is a direct indication to Yahweh that we are remembering him for the stunning beauty of all his work which he produced. Keeping the Sabbath is a direct manifestation to Yahweh that we are reflecting upon him for the startling and staggering symmetry of all that he designed and constructed. Moreover, celebrating the Sabbath is a testimony to Yahweh that we are honoring him for the amazing elegance and gracefulness of all that he formed and fashioned. Observing the Sabbath is proof to God, Yahweh, that we are esteeming him for the marvelous balance that he gave the universe. And even more, commemorating the Sabbath is an expression to Yahweh that we have our minds on him and are marveling over the incredible arrangement of all his work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made. We, the children of Israel and all people who join themselves to Yahweh, are commanded to keep this sign throughout our generations. Why? That we may know that it is Yahweh himself that doth sanctify us. What does this mean? According to Webster's New World Dictionary, Third College Edition, copyright 1994, page 1187, the word sanctify means to make free from sin, to purify. On page 1092, the word purify means to free from sin. What is sin? This question is answered in 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, which reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the laws in the Bible, which are the laws of Yahweh. Keeping the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh is a law. Therefore, as the children of Israel, the Sabbath of Yahweh is an indication or proof between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to show that he has set us free from transgressing the law of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh. Even more, it is a manifestation, a testimony, and an expression between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to demonstrate that He, Yahweh, has liberated us from breaking the law of the Sabbath. In summary, dress as it relates to keep means that Yahweh commanded Adam to tell the children of Israel and all people who joined themselves on to Yahweh that keeping the seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh, is an indication, manifestation, testimony, proof, and expression between Yahweh and us throughout our generations to show that it, the Sabbath of Yahweh, is a holy day. That it is an holy day devoted entirely to reflecting upon, 
showing great respect for and giving exclusive honor to Yahweh for all his brilliant, glorious, and magnificent work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made, that we may understand, realize, or recognize that Yahweh is God and that he has set us free from transgressing the law of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh according to solar time. We told you in previous programs that the solar year begins on the vernal equinox. The vernal equinox occurred on March 21st. We showed you the facts to validate that a solar day begins at sunset and ends the next day at sunset. Therefore, the first solar day of this year began at sunset on March 20th and ended at sunset on March 21st. At that time, we began counting six days of labor and March 27th was the first seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh. On the Gregorian calendar, this is sundown Friday to sundown Saturday of each month. If you follow this counting cycle, this entire solar year, 6002, then all the families of the earth can keep the Sabbath of Yahweh together as one. All of our lives, we have been taught that the Sabbath day was a day to fellowship together, to thank God for all of our personal blessings and to ask him for more blessings of the things of this world. However, dress tells us that Yahweh commanded Adam to keep the Sabbath and to teach the whole world that on the seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh, we are to give exclusive honor to Yahweh for all his work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made. Next week, we shall continue to discuss the Sabbath and its relationship to dress. The gentleness of Yahweh is making Yahweh bin Yahweh great. Yahweh is enlarging the steps of Yahweh bin Yahweh under him, that his feet do not slip. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh bin Yahweh from the strivings of the people, and he is making him the head of the heathen. A people whom Yahweh bin Yahweh has not known shall serve him. As soon as they hear of Yahweh bin Yahweh, they shall obey him. The strangers shall submit themselves unto Yahweh bin Yahweh. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Psalms chapter 18 verses 27 through 45. Yahweh lives. Blessed be Yahweh, who is the rock of Yahweh ben Yahweh. And let Yahweh, the salvation of Yahweh ben Yahweh, be exalted. It is Yahweh that is avenging Yahweh ben Yahweh and subduing the people under him. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh ben Yahweh from his enemies. Yes, Yahweh is lifting up Yahweh ben Yahweh above all those that have risen up against him. Yahweh is delivering Yahweh ben Yahweh from the violent man. Therefore, Yahweh ben Yahweh is giving thanks unto Yahweh among the heathen and singing praises unto his name. Great deliverance is Yahweh giving to his king, Yahweh ben Yahweh, and is showing mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Psalms chapter 18, verses 46 through 50.